Hello. Hi, precious standers. People of God, how are you doing on this Saturday? I hope you all are feeling your best and are encouraged. I pray that the word that you heard on yesterday, speaking about how God is dealing with spouse's heart, I pray that that has really encouraged you and has allowed you to see, precious people of God, that God, hallelujah, sees. God is able to turn the hearts of men that is through the blood of Jesus Christ, the Lord reconciled all things in heaven and on earth back to himself. He is the one in charge. The Bible tells us that he holds the heart of the king in his hands and he turns it whichever way he he pleases. Hallelujah. For many of you all that did not hear the teaching on yesterday called God is dealing with the spouse's heart. I pray that you go and tune in to that. It will really encourage you and build your faith and allow you to see how God also handles sexual immorality, how he sees the things that have been going on in your marriage and he sees where your spouse is and God He chastises those that he loves. The Lord will go after. He'll leave the 99 and go after the one. Hallelujah. Of all the sheep. You know, God loves his people. God sees you right where you are, precious people of God. It doesn't matter what it looks like. God is able to transform hearts and minds. Nothing good is going to come out of that sexual like that sexual immorality lifestyle that is not pleasing unto the Lord. The Bible tells us that God wants us to honor our marriage vows. In everything, the marriage is supposed to be honored. Hallelujah. For God deals with all adults. And who among us, the Bible also tells us that He's in His Word. And so God sees you right where you are. And He even hates divorce. He hates putting away what God has joined together. Let not man separate. And so you are not alone. God will fight for you, precious people of God. So I will encourage you who have not heard that teaching on yesterday to go back and just allow God to comfort you and allow you to see that he is with you. He has not forgotten about you. God sees how you are hurting. God is is willing, hallelujah, and is well able to reconcile and to bring healing and deliverance hallelujah and restoration god can heal any marriage god can heal and renew any mind hallelujah it is god's perfect will that no man would perish who is away from god but have everlasting life the lord sent his sent his only begotten son that whosoever will believe in him would not perish but have everlasting life and so if they are willing if that spouse wants to leave and live their life that is not pleasing unto the Lord they want to live their life away from God do not want the life of Christ let them go Paul tells us God has called you I'm paraphrasing but the word of God tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verses 15 God has called you to peace with himself through the blood of Jesus you 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 stand hallelujah you do what's right you continue in the things hallelujah continue being who you were when god first called you remain faithful unto god and you hallelujah can be the one that bring them back to the lord by your prayers and by you standing and by you remaining faithful and obeying god's commands the bible also tells us paul also touches touches upon that also in first corinthians chapter 7 verses 15 through 17 he is the one hallelujah god is the one that brings them back to himself hallelujah so let that encourage you on today you know i felt led precious people of god to pray with you guys we're going to pray based off of the word of god hallelujah and his promises i pray that this will encourage you and build you up Someone may need prayer. Someone may need someone to come and stand with them. Hallelujah. You know, when we join together, the Lord says, There am I in the midst. And remember also what Paul said in Ephesians. Hallelujah. And, and, and actually in Colossians chapter 1, 
He says, I never stop praying for you in verse 9. You know, I never stop praying for you, he said in Colossians to the church of Colossae. He says, I continue praying, and I'm paraphrasing. I continue praying that God will give you spiritual wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that you may know, know, hallelujah, what is pleasing unto the Lord and live a life that's pleasing unto him. You see, this is what we are called to pray for. Hallelujah, precious people, people of God. Paul says he, he, he never stopped praying. You see, we, we are to never stop praying. We are to pray without ceasing. Hallelujah. Remember also what the Lord Jesus Christ said about the persistent widow he used as an example. Hallelujah. He says, this is how we are to pray. She was someone that wouldn't give up. And this is what God is calling us to do, to pray and not give up. Pray night and day, hallelujah. He will hear. He will surely hear, Jesus said. He promised us that. He will surely hear those, his children, who cry unto him night and day. He will come through speedily. Praise the Lord. The Bible tells us that in Luke 18. And so it is important, precious people of God, that you continue going to the Lord, praying according to his will, and he will hear you. He will give you whatsoever you ask. And remember, his word is, it is his will for us. And so we are going to pray, hallelujah, for the spouse's heart to come back to the Lord, for the Lord to bring them to himself, hallelujah, because remember the blood was shed, hallelujah, for God sent his precious son, Jesus Christ, to die upon the cross for you and I and raised him up from the dead. Hallelujah. Who took on our punishment. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. He sent him to save the world. And so when we intercede, God will hear when you intercede on the behalf of your spouse, the one that God made you one with. Hallelujah. It is God's will that you and your spouse be one. It is God's will, hallelujah, that both of you all are filled with the Holy Spirit. Remember, it is by the Spirit of the Lord that your marriage will, will be able to illustrate Christ and the church being one. Where that husband is loving you, woman of God, as Christ loved the church. See, it is by his Spirit. When his Spirit is in him, when his Spirit is in that spouse of yours, that husband of yours, your husband can walk in the image and the likeness of God. Same with you, man of God, with your wife. When she is filled with the Holy Spirit, she can now be submissive unto you. She'll have a renewed heart and a right spirit in her. And so the Lord Jesus Christ paid the price for us to receive the promise of the Holy Spirit. And when that wife, man of God, is filled with the Holy Spirit by you standing in a gap for her, she'll be saved. She'll come up on her up under the righteousness of Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Be joint with him. Thank you, Lord God, for the power of the Holy Spirit. And, and this is what we are doing, precious people of God. We are praying for the Holy Spirit to come. Hallelujah. Upon our spouses. That way, hallelujah, they will be washed from all filth. That way, hallelujah, they will no longer serve idols, serve themselves, go after the things of this world, live a life that is not pleasing unto the Lord. They will no longer remain under the power and un under the, the control of the enemy. They will come to themselves when they are filled with the Holy Spirit. The Father, hallelujah, promised, Jesus said, to send forth the Holy Spirit. The Bible tells us that also in Acts 1. It is so important, hallelujah. And we hear it in Ezekiel. The Lord says, I will take out of them that heart of stone and give them a tender heart, a heart that will respond, a heart that will, will walk in righteousness, a heart that will be filled with righteousness and holiness. The Lord, hallelujah, has promised this. He says that way they can walk, they can walk according to my will and obey my commands and decrees and regulations hallelujah it is by the leading of the holy spirit that they will be able to do all these things and so we want to tap into the power of the holy spirit we want to see god hallelujah continue reminding him of his promise 
Hallelujah. That our loved one will be saved. That they will come back to the Lord. That God will raise them up from the dead by this same power of the Holy Spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead. Hallelujah. If God called out Lazarus who was dead for four days, he surely can raise that spouse of yours up by this same resurrection power. Hallelujah. Nothing ain't, nothing is too hard for God. God sees that spouse you're crying out to him about. God sees how you are seeking him for the salvation of that loved one. When we continue interceding on their behalf, praying for this, this is what pleases the Lord. The Bible also tells us this. In his word, hallelujah, we are praying. We are praying, hallelujah, prayers that are pleasing unto the Lord. When we seek him for souls to be saved. And as a result of this salvation, you will see the marriage lined up. You will see the home healed. You will see this like-mindedness. You will see this oneness, hallelujah, in the flesh. You will see it. You will see that marriage illustrating Christ and the church being one. Because remember, we are one with him by his spirit being in us. Well, this is how it would be with you and your spouse. When the Holy Spirit is in you and the Holy Spirit is in them, you all will be in one accord. Hallelujah. There won't be any, any discord. There won't be any clashing with one another. There, there won't be any division. Hallelujah. When you all are both led by the same Spirit under the Holy Spirit's, hallelujah, leading and leading and guidance and, and, and Him, hallelujah, joining you all causing you all hallelujah to both glorify god the father glorifying the son our lord jesus christ when his spirit is in you and this is so important that you never give up keep praying hallelujah for god promises that he will he'll gather them he'll gather them from right, right where they are and bring them back to himself all this was done because of the blood of jesus hallelujah the bible also tells us this in colossians chapter 1 the lord reconciled us back to him the father through the blood of jesus oh hallelujah the price has been paid stand on it precious people of god hold on to it remember what the lord jesus christ also said in the parable about the seed in luke chapter 8 verse 15 hallelujah who brings forth the promises who brings forth the harvest who does the word blesses those that hear it and hold on to it cling on to it the bible tells us the lord tells us that they are the ones that will reap a harvest as they wait patiently as they hold on to it and with patience you will reap a huge harvest you will see that promise you will see the manifestation of God's word. Hallelujah. Come forth in your life. This is what has healed many marriages. They held on to the promises. They cried out to the Lord. They called on, on the Lord and he rescued them. He brought that spouse out. It didn't matter what it was. Whether it was adultery. Whether it was a divorce. Whether it was addictions. Whether it was them bound by devils. God was able to restore these marriages. God has no respecter of persons. If he done it for them who believe, he'll also do it for you. This is why we want to meditate on the word of God. Hold on to them. Live a life that is pleasing unto the Lord. Know, carefully know what is God's will for your life. By getting in the word, taking a hold of it, believing it, receiving it. Hallelujah. And remember what the Lord Jesus Christ says. Believe when you received it believe that you received it and it will be yours hallelujah and so we come to the lord we come into the lord hallelujah again precious people of god and we're going to stand together we're going to agree again believing that that spouse hallelujah will come back to the lord so let's get ready to pray precious people of god hallelujah father god we thank you we thank you for your precious promises. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for sending your precious son, Jesus Christ. Oh God, to pay the price, oh God, 
who knew no sins, who was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we were healed. Thank you that it was through the blood of Jesus, Lord God, you have reconciled us back to you. And so, Father God, we thank you that we are now blameless in your sight. And so now we are asking, Father God, that you will send forth your Holy Spirit. Oh God, in the hearts and the minds of every prodigal. Oh Father God, bring them back unto you as well. So that husbands and wives can truly be one. In the spirit, Lord God. In the mind, Lord God. In the name of Jesus and in their heart. Take out of them the heart of stone and give them the heart of flesh, Lord God. Bring them back to repentance, Father. In the precious name of Jesus, we who are called by your name, Lord God, we are standing in the gap. Lord God, asking that the spouses be brought out. Many that are away from you, bound, Lord God, with addictions, sexual immorality, perversion, Lord God, wickedness, that are under the control of Satan. Oh, Father God, may this power be broken off of their minds, their soul, and that you will lead and guide them back to you. Yes, Lord God, let there be unity in the homes where the home, Lord God, will be powered by your Holy Spirit, will be covered, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Father, let the blood of Jesus wash and cleanse away all sin and evil and spiritual death. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, open up the eyes and the minds of their understanding. Send forth, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, righteousness and your holy light. Let it shine in their hearts. Allow them to see, Lord God, the errors of their ways and lead them back to repentance. Allow them to hear your precious voice. Allow them, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, to come unto you as your word says. Come unto you, come out of darkness into your marvelous light. In the precious name of Jesus. Yes, Father God, we are asking it now that they will be filled by your Holy Spirit. That you will raise them up from the dead by your precious grace. Bring them back unto you, Father, in the precious name of Jesus, because of the blood. Yes, clothe them with righteousness. And remove all filth from their minds. Remove all, Lord God, idolatry. Remove, Lord God, this heart of stubbornness, this stony heart, and give them a tender heart. Fill them with your Holy Spirit and cause them to walk in your ways. Yes, Lord God, that marriages would illustrate Christ in the church being one. That man would do things that are pleasing into your sight. Yes, Lord God, that they will obey your commandments. In the mighty name of Jesus, let every curse be broken, Lord, through the blood. And they come up under the blessing, washed whiter than snow. In the mighty name of Jesus, as your word declares, though their sins, though our sins be red as crimson, Lord God, you will wash them, remove them, and cause us to be whiter than snow. Praise your holy name. Thank you, Father God, for great is you that is in us than he that is in this world. Begin, Lord God, to cause spouses, Lord God, to come out of that life that they are living and back to you. Put it in their hearts, Lord God, to desire to want to do what's right. Put it in their hearts, Lord God, to, do, to want to desire, Lord God, to do things that are pleasing unto you. In the name of Jesus, transform them and renew their minds. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, bring them back, Father, as your word declares. For you was able, you was able to do exceeding and abundantly above all we can ever ask or think, according to the power that's at work in us. Your word declares that if we ask of anything that is pleasing unto you, 
you will give us whatsoever we ask. And we give you the praise. We know that it is your will that no man will perish but have everlasting life. Oh, Father God, we ask that you will send forth your love, your joy, your peace back into the homes, in the hearts, in the name of Jesus of the prodigals. Give them a heart, Lord God, that is after yours. Lord, yes, send forth your faithfulness in their hearts. Send forth meekness. Send forth life in Jesus' holy name. The life of Christ Jesus. Praise your name. And all the people of God that are joined together, Father, in your precious Son, Jesus' name, you're in the midst. And we thank you. Lives are being healed. We declare and decree it. We receive it now. Marriages are restored. We receive it now. Yes, oh God. You're renewing hearts and minds. Eyes are being opened. Minds are being renewed. In Jesus' name. And all the people of God says, Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Hold on, precious people of God. Trust God. Know that he hears. Know that he has heard you. Know, hallelujah, that it is his will for that spouse of yours to be saved. Know that God, hallelujah, will never leave you nor forsake you. He is doing a mighty work. God will deliver you. I'm telling you, he's going to come through for you in ways you could not have imagined it. Believe it on today. Remember that God loves you. And I love you too. And until next time, bye-bye.